415, we'll call the meeting to order and uh, we'll ask uh, Commissioner Gallagher, please. Chair Gray, I'm going to follow we just give thanks to people for this time we can have together to serve this community. We pray, Father, that you might continue to bless Bedford County. You might be with those who are suffering, that have needs, that the one you know of, that you might <clears throat> lift them up and comfort them and blanket them with your love. We just ask a special blessing this afternoon for those people in Ukraine who are suffering uh, so, so dreadfully. We just pray, Heavenly Father, that you might give them strength to endure it. And that in some ways, Heavenly Father, that the world might be kept uh, out of uh, oral war. Heavenly Father, we just ask that you would be with this commission as we deliberate things concerning this county, that you would grant us the wisdom to always make those decisions that are in the best interest of those whom we serve. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we're just missing the school superintendent. Mm -hmm. So the first item would be approval of the minutes from the February 22nd. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, motion second on the favor. Uh, Moving on to a new, new business, first report, solid waste. We're working on our annual progress report. We have everybody's reports in except Tyson's and Clover's. Clover comes from the state, so we have to wait on there, but Tyson's is a huge contributor, so uh, I've gotten in touch with them. They do have a new uh, solid waste or recycling person over there, so uh, it was interesting to talk to him. Um, even with our tire disposal, people still continue to throw out tires. Uh, someone threw out about 50 on Whiteside Hill Road, another 60 more out on Horse Mountain. Clean Harbors had a logistics problem in getting our oil base paint picked up. Hopefully they've got it rescheduled, and I think they pulled that this past Monday. We had four totes working on our fifth one, so they will usually have three before they pull those. And this is a, a service that the state provides to us at no cost, so we at least get rid of that old base paint. We're getting inmates out, so we need to the uh, Sheriff's Department for that, because that will be a huge help. We've had eight on Monday, and then we had, I think, six today. Um, so we're trying to get some of the roads cleaned up because it's been a while since they've been able to be out and over in season will be coming up right on as quickly. Uh, and we want to do the best we can to try and get our roads cleaned up. We're making preparations to help with the environmental week scheduled for April the 5th through the 7th for the grammar school kids, uh, which will be held at the Ag Center. Uh, this event had been postponed for the last two years on account of COVID. There will be sessions on water, soil conservation, air pollution, recycling, and many other topics. Barry Mitchell's Think Green Puppet Show will be a hit with the kids. Uh, this and the bus transportation for the kids is paid through our litter grant. Anything that we can do to encourage changes now will benefit us all in the future. As far as our recycling report, uh, revenues for February were 11371.32. We had uh, recycling tonnage was down 75.62 tons. Landfill expenses $28,384 and 855.01 tons. Any questions? All right. Any questions? Thanks Thank you for that report. Up next is our HR. Yes, um, for the month of February, we had a handful of new hires and then also a um, handful of um, resignation terms. And we did have, I put a new one item on there. Um, unfortunately, had a couple of employees part time um, and one full time that passed away while they were employed with the county. So, obviously, um, thinking of their families and appreciate their, their service to their county. For sure. Um, we have several job postings still. We weren't able to fill one of the positions with the health department assistance, but we're still needing one more. Um, we did onboard a new dietitian for the health department, so that one's no longer on there. The EMT trainee, I believe we had about 20, 27 applications come in for EMT trainee, so they're going through the process of interviewing for that. Um, communications dispatch, we just re-advertised for, we have a new CDL position, 
Tanya Davis has a position at her office, and you can see all of those there. So that's just a revolving. Um, I did onboard um, two, well, I'll have three corrections officers this week that are coming on board. So um, that will be helpful. Four of them will start next Monday for that department. Um, and then it's just business as usual on my HR items. The biggest um, projects are obviously um, personnel policy and job descriptions driven. And then just assisting various departments with whatever daily requests operationalize they had for me. And then I was able to complete some professional development that is free um, online through CTAS. Um, they have a lot of good um, webinars for human resources and, and different um, tools that I can use um, to continue my professional development. So I've done those and have a few pieces of my own. Any questions for me? Hey, John, any yeah. questions? Active, active, active. Uh, what about uh, archives? Uh, patients here today. Uh, other reports there for you. Architects, um, we're thinking that uh, we're going to be able to at least get back operating in the courthouse uh, maybe after April the 15th. We said April 1st. Now the 15th looks more like the date, so maybe the 30th. Uh, we'll see, but uh, we we are they're getting down to the painting and the you know now the most of the demolition's done and now it's putting it back together and structured it the way it should be. So uh, we'll keep you guys informed about that. And all the committee meetings will meet up there, true? I believe that's. I mean that was and all the general thought. Yeah, we have our board meetings so the public is. That's one of the things is the public is confused about where to go on stuff. Right. And if it's the courthouse, the right. zoning or fair right. board or yeah. whatever. Yeah, our, our thought certainly was to um, make that the official meeting space. Now we we got a room off to the side, you know, depending on the nature of the kind of meeting. But and we may not now some of the technology uh, will not be into like August that we go in the courtroom. That will keep us from using it. But I don't know that we'll be ready in April to actually use the courtroom. We'll need a little bit of time to get all the kinks out of the gear. So, but we're but we're much much closer than we were. So. And on the school side, they're in design with the community wing as well as the new school. So, okay, it's project so we're going forward. Yeah. So, we're excited about that. All right, so next item is our monthly reports. Okay, if you'll look at your analysis of tax collections, you can kind of see where we're at. On the property tax, we are 798000 ahead of the same time last year. Uh, prior year tax collections were 389000 above the same time last year. Clerk and master collections are down 23,000, and that's because probably they're paying in the trustee's office before they get there. Sales tax collections are 950,000 uh, so far compared to last year. And then Mark has two payments that he's received so far on uh, mineral severance, so it's down $500. Bring it up, Mark. <laughs> okay, on the uh, next part is juvenile detention. We have moved, the uh, traffic school collects fees for juveniles, so we have moved that line over to the juvenile detention section. It's the middle one at the top of the revenues. It says TS by it because it's collected the traffic school. We used to show it in traffic school. So with that shown, we project a loss at the end of the year of 175000 And then the next page is traffic school, and we project a profit of 46000 the next part of the report, we've got an analysis of expenditures, and these are just key expenditures we picked out. Anything in red is above average. Some of this has been amended because the amendment didn't get posted until March, and this is a February report. So it, it may not be uh, over like some of these uh, show. Now, everybody's concerned about um, gasoline and fuel costs. We will, we will deal with that as it comes up. We'll have to make some amendments probably. And uh, we'll see what page it's on. It's on the last page. You'll see diesel. Some of the accounts are over. Now, some of them, it's uh, like general purpose school, the diesel, that's for the maintenance department. So they just um, had a PO out that spent most of the budget. And if there are any questions, um, right here. This is good. Robert, when we amend most of these, um, when we do that, are, are there accounts, do you think, good enough that we're going to be 
be okay on that? On Not that side, for new money is what I'm asking. I don't think so. Now, on the county side, we may have to take it from some other areas that you know, just aren't used. And uh, I can't tell you what they will be yet. But the school side will be where the impact is, but they do have funds available to do the transfer. I think that's going to be a bigger impact on the county side. Okay. Now, Mark may feel about his side. I think we'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. But the county, as far as uh, fuel, we don't really use that much other than sheriff and its maintenance uh, department. So are there any questions? Bravo. Oh, I thought you I gave you a financial report that's uh, all the funds that you have also. Uh, I don't have anything unusual to report other than the items that I highlighted in the end in the summary of expenditures. If you have any questions, I'll be glad to answer. Questions or comments regarding the standard regular monthly reports. All right. Other monthly reports, EMS. Yeah. Um, I have some questions now with the director's report there. Uh, Commissioner, a few things. We start with Youth Academy for the high school students in April. We got 23. Uh, they're not going to participate in that. It's every Tuesday and Thursday for four weeks. Um, it's not the full EMR class like it used to be. It's kind of just a abbreviated introduction to EMS. And then, as um, Ms. Boyette just mentioned, we did have 27 apps for the EMT trainee position. Uh, we have been through interviews. We're going to hire four of those. We currently have five open positions. Uh, we're hiring four of those uh, currently to go through the class and hopefully get their licensure. Class is six weeks. So by the end of May, hopefully they'll be able to test for registry and be put on the ambulance. Um, the days are not in class. They're going to be riding third person on the ambulance. Uh, this has an observer, basically, just to get on the job training. Um, we'll be able to do patient care at that point, but we'll be in the environment learning the terminology and equipment and things like that. Um, that's really all I have, unless you have questions. Plus, the, I noticed the time's down to 10, 10 minutes, so you're producing me another minute. Right. <laughs> when that bridge gets done, it'll be down to six. <laughs> <laughs> and the call volume was a little low for February, so that helped for that. Uh, Mayor, I told, I told Brett and Mr. Vick, as always, attuned to this too, but um, for his students as well, you know, if any student has, a, has an excuse or reason for dropping out of the program, uh, to let me and Kelly North know because we're, we're putting some things into place so that, you know, nothing should prevent a child from going on through the tech schools or your programs or whatever after graduation is. So, um, Brett's to let me or Kelly know yeah. if somebody needs help. 50th year anniversary for EMS at the state really? level. Now, Bedford got into business in 1970. So uh, they got out ahead of the state of Tennessee actually adopting regulations for it, but it is the 50th anniversary for the state of Tennessee for EMS. So they're still a child in comparison to police and fire been around 200 plus years and uh, not changed the way they do business. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> so, that's that's so, but anyway, that's a, that's a great milestone for the state of Tennessee to, and, and the work and the transition evolution of what EMS is today versus ambulance service when it started out. So thank you for that. Any other questions or comments? So we need a motion to approve reports. I think. Second motion to approve. Second. Motion second. All in favor? Aye. Uh -huh. Any opposed? All right. Moving on. United Communication Review of Tower Lease Grant. This is the it's time to renew our lease. It's a five year lease. That's why it's in here just to go to the commission for approval. And they did increase the monthly rate a little bit. So. Move to approve. Second. All right. Motion second. Any other questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. Uh -huh. All right. For that. Uh, next up is agreement between Columbia State Community College and ECMS. Uh, this is their affiliate uh, agreement for students to rise. Is that right? Yes, so we let Columbia State Community College pay for our students ride EMT, paramedic, uh, MOPA does the same, we let TCAT students ride. Uh, us working with schools helps recruitment. Um, 
So we get this and then we get some working with our people, uh, we get to develop that relationship. So it's a really good thing for us to be a part of. And uh, you currently do that, and so this would be renewal of yeah, that, right? That's correct. So, yeah, and I was going to say through 2027, so uh, it'll be a five year to what's the wishes here. Second. All right, motion second. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Great program. All right, we've got some surplus from the school board. I'm curious to see what happened. Oh, you want to put them together? Oh, okay. Yeah, and the county the county has a uh, surplus coming up right next to that. It's probably the same one. Where is it attached to? It's, it's right behind it. It's right behind it. Yeah. Yeah. Where did it say? Yeah. So if you want to put both of them at once or you want to do them separate times, yes. I'll make a motion that we approve both uh, lists. Second. 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 Send it to commission to uh, yeah, the final disposition. All in favor? Uh, uh, any opposed? Great. Next on the agenda, resolution to transfer funds for the Board of Education. Okay, this is a for cash flow. The board has approved this, and what we're doing is moving money from the general purpose school fund over to federal programs. And the reason we do that is we have to make the payment before we get the money back from the state and the federal. And um, this just gives us cash flow. And with all the grants that we've got going on, we need to tax for money. And this was approved by their school board? Yes. That goes to the commission. We need a motion to send it to the commission. No one? Second. All right. Any other comments or questions? All in favor? Aye. Uh, 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 any opposed? Up next, resolution 2219. This is an ARP fund uh, for TDAC. This is yeah. on the, that's the right. This is uh, yeah. I can uh, tell you a little bit about this. This is uh, the state of Tennessee through TDEC uh, has brought down some funds, uh, the potential for some funds that would go in this particular case, it will go to water uh, expansion through FECA. The cities uh, all got a, a portion decided by the state. Originally, it was going to be one bucket of money, and the county would have distributed to the municipalities. Uh, there was pushback on that, and so the state created their own formula. There's basically four million thirty-five thousand nine hundred seventeen that comes to the county proper for water, and uh, so that puts us in this relationship with BCUD to do that. Uh, there is a match of four hundred three thousand. BCUDs agreed to pay half the match, and we would propose to pay our half the match with our some of our ARP funds. So that's what this resolution. Does. And this is to uh, improve all, actually this will address their system so everyone in the water system will, will be improved by that through code. Second. Motion is second. Any other questions or discussion? And there's other projects to come that different agencies are dealing with or different utilities. So. All right, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Move on. Next one is resolution doesn't have a number yet. Should um, be 20, I guess. Okay, probably. We'll double check to make sure that we got the right number. But this is ARP funds for water to deal with Union Ridge out in the War Trace area. And Don is going to yeah, speak on it. Just, yeah, explain it quickly about There's two main points about this resolution. Uh, one is uh, concerning the water line per se that's going to be run on Union Ridge. Those bids were open in November of last year. Uh, Williamson Construction Company has been gracious enough to continue holding that bid up to this point. It's time for us to act on it. Uh, we were waiting, the town was, until the bids were open for the water storage tank. We see if we get a better bid on that. If you recall, last uh, meeting, I talked about they were rebidding it, uh, redesigning the tank, got to get a lower bid, making it instead of a, a standing tank an elevated tank and reducing it from 100 to 50,000 gallons. The bids came in the 10th of this month and they were better, but they were still over. So the first part of this resolution addresses the water line. Uh, and it, it, it basically, uh, 
the town has the grant, they're making the match. Uh, they're still short a significant amount of money. They're going to, if they use their 201,000 money that they have from a, APR money, and we had allocated $100,000 in case the storage tank went over, but I'm in this resolution recommending that we use $47,000 uh, $961 of that allocated $100,000 of accountants ARP money to finish up the needed funds so they can run the water line on Union Ridge and go ahead and let that uh, contract go. Uh, that will serve some 40 customers. Uh, the average water bill for um, those uh, in war case is about $70 for a month. So, which is kind of high, <laughs> but that's what it is. So it will generate about $33,600 a year uh, for the customers that they have presently on Union Ridge. So in about four years, it would break even point that they would make up with their match money. But the total, the total project is going to run um, $1,011,157. But with it, all the war traces having to put into it, as their match is 137196 and the rest is going to be funding from other sources. So that will get the water line. The second part of this resolution addresses going forward with the water storage thing. Uh, Wartrace is eligible for better than $600,000 of the infrastructure investment plan funds. Uh, and they're working on getting their application and they have to send in a letter of intent, have to fill out the score cost card. Uh, and I feel pretty good about the, the, um, the project itself in terms of qualifying, because I looked at the non-compliance grant manual uh, for the infrastructure program. And in a priority area, it mentions enhancing service to small underserved or disadvantaged communities for drinking water and wet water systems that certainly qualifies and, and under activities it says projects intended to address contamination issues in private residential well are also eligible etc and that certainly qualifies that's the whole basis for the community development block grant so the second part of this resolution uh, is that if Wartrace has a successful application of $234,900 uh, for the infrastructure grant money, that we will take another 15%, or we will match the 15% or the 15% match of that application the county will make, which would be $35,225 out of our ARP money. Which will, so of that $100,000, that won't quite spend it all. There'll be still $16,000 left over. The, the water tank is a, is a crucial part of that whole project. But um, to get the first phase done, to get the water line up there, this can make it happen. And so that'll get those people water. If they get the tank, if they're successful in that, that gives them an opportunity to extend service to up to 300 people in that area. So, so, so even if we don't get the tank, we can still do water. Right? That's right. Okay. That's right. It, it, the only thing it does, it limits. Yeah, it limits the number of customers they can serve yeah. without the tank. Without, without the tank. tank. Don and these folks have been on this journey. They say 20 plus years, really trying to get that area served yeah. one way or another, and not been able to. It's been such a big project. It's really an underserved area. A lot of people have um, wells that are contaminated and cisterns that they're working with and lose water during the summer months, some of the folks. So right. it, we do have this $100,000 uh, available through our ARP funds. And I, I'm in total support of it, seeing us uh, commit that to see them get that project done. And, and if they can get that tank and through their TDAC money that you're talking about, we, um, this would really expand that area and, and it's so close to being able to finally happen we don't need to yep. let forty seven thousand dollars keep us from from making that uh that happen for those folks that's an old guy used to know you could do a lot of nats here <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So we need a motion to send this to May the commission. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. So we have to vote. Good. I was going to say, technically, I don't have a motion to second yet, but anyway, go ahead. Okay, I'll make a motion that we approve this resolution. I'll say. Okay, now, uh, now we're open for discussion. Go ahead. Uh, the applications have been submitted or been The application for, for uh, what? The, uh, the TDEC plan? No, they're filling out the stuff now. They, I think they've filed a letter of intent. You could just go online and do that. That was a fairly okay. quick and easy thing. The other thing that's more difficult is filling out the scorecard. Yeah. And one of the things that the scorecard addresses is critical need. And as soon as we run the water line up there, there's a critical need for storage tank, yes, for sure. So you think maybe by June? I don't know. I really don't know what, how fast things are going to progress at this point. They just opened the bid for the water tank March the 10th. Uh, hopefully, he will be as gracious as the company that bid out the water line and hold it for the town of Warcraft or for the county, in this case, really. Um, a sufficient amount of time to get the funding together. But if this is approved, this will let the water line and actually get into the 40 people begin, right? That's because right. Because the bid's yep. already in and the block grant is already secured. Every, everything would be This is the place. second leg, and this is the TDEC, where we're dealing with TDEC for BCUD that we talked about earlier in our resolution. This really is their TDEC project, right. Right. where, the, the where they distributed to the different municipalities their dollar amounts, so and right. that's why you have the potential for those other funds. That's right. So we have a motion and a second. Is there any other questions or discussion on this resolution? Go to the commission. All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 I just want to say one thing. I really appreciate the finance committee supporting this and the commission and particularly Mayor Graham and, and Robert and all their help and support and Laura officials, Fisher, South Central Development District has been really great. For Is there uh, any other business that didn't get on here? Yes, sir. We need to set a time for budget hearings, and uh, we were looking at maybe the first week of April, and possibly Wednesday the sixth, if that would work for everybody. Maybe the Wednesday the sixth. The sixth. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get to the rest of it. We're thinking about having one of them before lunch With and one the April. first week okay. in April. I'm going to be gone the whole first week of April. So, the next week will work fine. You don't want to do the next week? Yeah. Right. That would be better for me. Okay, so the second week? Yeah. All right, what is it? Let's see what that looks like. Do you want to? That'd be the 13th, that's right. That's the first day of early voting. <laughs> <laughs> you want to do it? Are you nervous? Like, would you like to do the 12th, the 10th day? Okay. Because we're going to. But have a mission meeting with you. Yeah. That's going to be a long day if they yeah, do it in the morning and then they have lunch. Get rid of it, <laughs> That's up to them. It's, I guess it's fine with me. We'll shuttle you. Are you going to split, split that in two times? Yes, we'll do one before lunch, one after lunch. No, I meant two days. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can do whatever you want to do. No, we do one. If you want to split it, we can do that too. Okay. That's fine. It cost me $4 to come to town. <laughs> <laughs> At least. So we, we'll get the letters out to all the people, the nonprofits as well as the department heads. So this first go around is where they have the opportunity to clarify anything and for you guys to ask any questions about the document that was presented. That's not the actual budget packet where then we, we've got to then take that and go back. So there's another couple of steps to this. This is that first round where we give them the opportunity to tell us anything they think we need to know that we maybe not understand about what they submitted and then any questions that you guys have. And then we'll package that all together and tell you what that looks like and then we'll have to find a strategy what we can live with. What day do you have a sign on the 12th or 13th? 12th. 12th. Is the 12th okay with you guys or is the 13th better? I hope so. I've got my phone in the car. It'll be all right. <laughs> Tony, you want to take that yeah, work? Is the 12th better than the 13th? Or? Well, I don't know. I mean that you can't. Well, fine. Robert doesn't understand. TM, I think. We'll, do, we'll probably do the first one at TM. Seriously, though, you can't. Ten and one. And we'll provide a for you guys. Oh, you said the magic word. Is that your, what's your name? Wednesday. Okay, so Tuesday. Tuesday. Okay, so Tuesday. 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 Tues
Chili Supper Fireball. Yes. Starts at four. four. Yeah. Come out and support four. those folks. Is uh anything else you guys think want to anything else to come before us? Motion to adjourn. Okay.